Today we're going to look at changing spark plugs and there's a few things you must know about that to prevent engine damage or uh, causing a, a big problem for yourself. The first thing is the new engines have uh, a problem with carbon because this part of the plug right here may go into the combustion chamber, the front threads, it may carbon up. And if it carbons up and you start taking it out, the carbon will bind in the threads in the head. So if it starts to get tight when you're removing it, you stop, you move it back a little bit, and then you put uh, penetrating fluid in the, either the spark plug well or around this area and let it sit for 30 minutes and then you try work its way out. You never go over 30 pounds, uh, 30 pounds uh, torque, foot pounds torque to remove it. And if it doesn't come out, then put it back. If you have any of the, these problems at this shop, you, you see the instructor. The other thing is, you should use the proper spark plug socket. Now this one is a, uh, a long one for hemi heads and hemi heads as you'll see in this picture I'll show you hemi heads have the spark plug in the middle of the valve cover and there's a well and you can see on the bottom part here there's a, a well where the spark plug would come out but it's pretty far down there and that's why we use the long socket uh, the other thing is that's what has to be cleaned before you um, remove the spark plug because if there's any debris in there it'll fall into the engine and you can clean it with either uh, compressed air you must wear goggles because whatever's in there can fly back in your face or a vacuum cleaner but you, then take a light and look inside to make sure it's clean you must remember is to pull the spark plug wire out by the boot and there may be oil on the bottom of that that valve cover seals at the bottom of that well and it could leak there and if there's oil on the bottom of, of the uh, well it then there's further repairs that need to be done you need to tell the instructor so the socket goes down in the spark plug well now once you obtain this from the instructor you're responsible for it and it must come back by you to the instructor when you're finished with it do not leave it on the job even if you're not finished so we've obtained uh, that spark plug wrench. This can be used for any spark plugs as long as it's the right size. The other one is the uh, universal spark plug socket. It's a specialty socket. And it's got uh, a rubber insert so it holds the, the uh, spark plug. And it's good for putting it back in. Now, if you, if you have a socket, some of these that uh, the rubber insert is deteriorated, you, you can use an old spark plug wire to hold the socket to start it, but we'll get to that in a minute. So, the other issue you have to deal with, and changing spark plugs can be a struggle. As you see in the, saw in the uh, previous um, photograph, the spark plugs are accessible on one head and they're not on the other and the uh, intake plenum has to actually come off to do the other three spark plugs in that particular picture. Believe it or not the spark plugs are under this plenum and that has to come off to get at those spark plugs. I had a good look at this and that's just the way it is. That's why they have platinum spark plugs in in this particular engine so that doesn't have to have to happen very often but that's where they are. One of the things that we have to watch is when we pull the spark plug wire off. If it has spark plug wires, a lot of them have coil and plug and you just take the coil off and that usually works out quite well. And then you would uh, clean the spark plug well. As uh, I'll show you in the, in the picture, you look at the spark plug well and listen. said previous, that's the well you have to clean and that's a must. So it's very, very important that you do that and uh, watch for oil. Once the boot's off, you do not, do not pull the wire. 
But if you do, and, it, and the wire comes off and the boot stays on, we have the means of fixing it, and therefore it's not a big issue. Just tell me and uh, we'll, we'll get it fixed or buy a new spark plug wire. It's not a big deal. Don't be afraid of that. As I said, pull the boot with your fingers don't don't pull on the wire and you're gonna to have to twist it back and forth sometimes some some are gonna be so hard to come out that you're gonna to have to get some help because they, they seize on the actual portion of the spark plug but pull on the boot and uh, if you have any trouble just see the instructor I'm gonna choose the 1316 socket I should mention that there's two sizes of sockets this is for the larger spark plug hex and this is for the smaller and they both have the rubber insert so I've chosen this one I uh, so that it will not the rubber insert also uh, relieves the pressure on the porcelain so you don't uh, crack the porcelain if you just use a, a deep 13 16 so it can go a little sideways on the on the spark plug and break the, the uh, porcelain, which again, if it happens, it happens. You can let me know. So I've removed the spark plug wire and I've got some extensions that I can have a free uh, radius to remove the plug. And it comes and as soon as it becomes loose, I'll take it out by hand. Uh, just a little bit loose, so I'll use my ratchet. Now it comes. Now, that was clean beforehand. There's no well there to speak of. I wasn't worried about debris. And now I have. Got my spark plug out and it looks brand new, but it's not. You can see the ground tang and the center electrode extends quite far out of the uh, ceramic insulator. And of course, the length of that ceramic insulator tells you how hot the plug will be if you were comparing plug spark plugs. And I'm looking for. Uh, cracks in the porcelain if there was an engine miss sometimes these crack from heat and I'm looking at the, the general appearance of it how much burnt oil is on it or anything now if you took a spark plug out and it's uh, got oil on this side that's from the valve cover gasket and that should be reported especially the wells the hemi head style because the uh, valve cover casket has to seal around the spark plug well and sometimes they fail and you pull out even the uh, spark plug uh, boot has oil on it but you'll see oil here it's not from the inside of the engine it'll drip down and get on the threads it looks like it's from the inside of the engine but it's not now rarely do you gap and put plugs uh, spark plugs in and and I'm checking the right number I do have the right number for the new spark plugs but the gap there is a specification on the gap but it should be parallel. The ground tang and the center electrode, the flat of it, should be parallel. And you can do that by eye. You can see that one's parallel. Now, generally, uh, this one, this spark plug would go back in. I could clean the threads on the wire wheel, which is another demonstration, and put it back if there was any debris on them, but there's not much debris. I think I would try this one first. Um, but this is very important. When you replace a spark plug, or you're putting the spark plug in, you must thread it by hand, and you must be absolutely sure that it's threaded properly before you put a ratchet on the socket. So I'll show you that. And if you have any trouble with this, you just see the instructor and let him take care of it. And the responsibility of any engine jam damage is off your shoulders. Do not go ahead 
without being 100% sure. And some of them are easier to start than others. Usually the wells, the deep wells type, the, type, the uh, hemispherical, are pretty easy to start. And I can feel those threads, and they, I can't pull it out, and it's not changing tightness as I put it in. I put it in about five threads. So I'm sure it's in, and I'm going to put the extensions on first. Now I said you could use a spark plug wire to start it, or a piece of rubber hose, if you can, because you can't get your fingers down, and you're only holding, you can only hold on to this very small part. So it's nice to have a socket, or a spark plug wire, or a piece of rubber hose. And now that's tightening up, about seven threads down. I'm 100% sure, and I'll put my ratchet on it. Now, spark plugs do not need to be over tightened. I'm gently tightening this one until it's, it seats. And then I'm going to tighten it, get it in a good position, and give it a good snug tighten. And then you get the instructor to check it. Once that's been done, take the plug socket off. Take the spark plug wire or a boot and wire, and if it looks, you know, you can have a look at that. It could be deteriorating, and you put it over the ceramic part of the spark plug, and you gently push down until you hear it click. I don't think you heard that, but I felt it that it clicked. When you change the spark plugs, you change one at a time, and do not leave the job half done. Either leave the spark plug out if the bell's going to go, or put it in and have it checked. Thank you very much.